look normal enough. But Dr. Thomas. May I speak to the resident doctor, please? I'm the resident. I have a man here that needs some help. You know, I thought you were invented by someone. For kicks. You are the Green Hornet. But not for kicks, Doctor. No, it looks like a concussion. Miss Christie, have Nurse Grayson meet me in emergency. And then call the police. His name is Gus Wander. Chris? Oh, you're not Chris. No, I'm just taking notes for her. I'm her husband. Oh, yeah, I've heard about you. What's wrong with girls going to college and getting an education anyway? I beg your pardon? Forget it. He doesn't believe in girls going to college and getting an education. All right, class, will you please open your books to chapter seven? Chris. Oh, you're not even her husband. Uh, no, I'm her husband's brother. Uh, uh, her brother-in-law. Well, do you believe in girls going to college and getting an education? Uh, definitely. Especially my sister-in-law. <laughs> I'd like you to turn your attention to chapter four, please. Oh, hi, Mark. Rick called me to come down and take over so you could get back to work. Oh, gee, thanks a lot. Now, I'll be sketching a diagram similar to the one found on page 19. What page was that? Page 19. Eileen, you know, you really turned me on. Are you sure it's all right? All right. It's a guess. No, I mean my being here. Well, sure, why wouldn't it be? I don't know, it's just kind of spooky. Your date bringing you to another girl's house. Oh, don't worry about that. The Lanes want me to feel like one of the family. I know, but You know still... what I said to myself the first time I saw you? Richard. That's right, I said to myself, Richard. <laughs> oh, hi, Rich. Oh, hello, Eileen. Say. Would you kids like a sandwich? Now? Well, sure. You come out of the kitchen and I'll fix you something nice. Hattie, we're not hungry and we're not going into the kitchen. Oh, all right. Then uh, I'll go in and get a sandwich and come back here and we'll all sit down and have a nice little chat. <laughs> <laughs> Get her. I suppose your parents flipped when they saw yours. No, not exactly. They merely said it was brilliant, charming, magnificent, superb, and a great work of art. <laughs> That's what they say. Next thing you know, it's attics, Phil. <laughs> Depends on the caliber of the painter. My painting's hung over the mantel. I don't believe it. It's true. We put it up this morning. This morning? That gave your folks all day to get rid of it. <laughs> Very funny. Okay. My painting is available for public viewing at any time. All right, girls, follow me. Patty, take my advice and send us home. No, not until you get a look at where my painting is hung and I get a look at your faces while you're looking. Follow me, art lovers. As we enter the main room, you will notice an original Patty Lane titled... You were saying, Patty? Oh, don't feel bad. That's an artist's life. But they wouldn't. Of course not. It's probably on loan to the Museum of Art. Oh, come on, Cynthia. Thank you for letting us see your beautiful mantle. Come, girls. <laughs> yes, what is it? My father had a flat tire. That's why I'm late. But who are you? The sitter. Oh, you can't be. You're already here. What? I mean, wait a minute. Are you sure you've got the right apartment? Uh, is this 1B? No, it's 4B. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Well, at least I got the right letter. No visitors. The bottle's in the refrigerator. The sandwiches are in the kitchen. Keep the television down and Oscar will be ready any minute. Goodbye. <laughs>